Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Speaks, Leroy Kenton here. So this video was shared with me and I really like the title of it. It says, just come back to Allah. So I wanted to take a look and watch it with you guys and then share my thoughts afterwards. Religion is here to unite us. It's not here to divide us. And if it's dividing us, it's not God's religion. It's something else. And, and so it's a great blessing to be in a place just where you feel comfortable. And you don't have to worry about somebody telling you you're not doing this right. You know, and, and if somebody did correct you, it would be out of love and not out of this arrogant, pious, self-righteous attitude of superiority. And so this type of religion, we have to fight it, really, because it's killing the soul of the Muslims. And it's all over the place now. You know, these memes, to use uh, Dawkins, I don't really like to use Dawkins' terms, but, you know, he came up with the idea of memes that are like viruses, intellectual viruses. Uh, and, and we've got these intellectual viruses that are making our community sick. And we really need to, you know, wash our hands, you know, in order not to get, right? You wash your hands. We have to clean our, you know, really purify ourselves. We didn't reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. I mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that to his Prophet. We did not re re reveal this Quran for you to be miserable. The, the mukhalifa, the understanding, the reverse understanding is anzalnahu li tas'ad. We, we revealed this book to make you happy. So if Islam is not making you happy, something's wrong with your Islam. And if you're making other people unhappy, you know, woe unto you for driving people out of Islam. You know, and there are people that are driving people away from Islam. And this is, we're in the end game, people. I mean, if you don't see that, I don't know what planet you're living on. We're coming down to end game. Maybe it's 100 years from now, maybe it's 200, I don't know. Those things are in the knowledge of God. But our Prophet said, بُعِدْتُ وَسَعَكَ هَتَيْنِ I was sent and, and the end of time are like these two. And he put his wusta and his sababa together, just like that. بُعِدْتُ أَنَا وَسَعَتَيْنِ وَسَعَتُ كَهَتَيْنِ I was sent and the hour is like this. That was 1400 years ago. And in terms of how long humans have been here, it's not a long time, 1400 years. It's, a, it's a, just a flash. So this is a time for people to have a lot of rahab, you know, just expansiveness in their hearts for people. Mm. Baza, baza, mm. I wish I could quote it in, in Persian, but you know, we're in the city of Mawlana, Jalaluddin, and he, he has a beautiful qasida, which is in the entrance to his maqam. Come, come again, come. You know, whatever you've done. Hmm. He's getting really emotional. This isn't a caravan of despair. You know, sinner, if you've broken your vow a thousand times, just come back. <laughs> the door's open. And anybody that closes it is a shaitan. You know, and there's people closing that door. Strong on statement. That need to hear that message. You know, because this world can defile you. But no matter how defiled you are, Allah's door is open. No matter what's happened to you, Allah's door is open. I mean, we have testimony in the hadith to a mass murderer who was given Toba. Wow. He killed a hundred people and he was given Toba. Hudayf al Yamani, he said, the end of time won't come until the Muslims are like a big rock in a river. They don't drink from it and they don't let other people drink from it. And he said, and the one seeing it is not like the one telling it. So don't be like that rock that doesn't let the river flow and let people drink from it. This people need, they're dying of thirst out there. They're dying of spiritual thirst.
This door is open and people, we need to open it up and let people come in with all their faults and all their flaws and all their dysfunctionalities and all their problems. Just open the door and let people come in. Based on what someone does can actually stop somebody from experiencing the true religion of Islam. And if Islam says, like the Quran actually says that it wasn't revealed to make people miserable, so you know the opposite of miserable would be happy, it's actually sent to bring happiness. And if you're not experiencing that, well, there's something off there. And also if you're stopping people from experiencing that, then there's something off there again. I think it's just really, really awesome to see a video like this that really shows how toxic judgment of other people can be. It's like we we could see somebody and look what they did. Oh, look at the sins that they committed. Oh, I would never do those sins, you know. And we could we build up these thoughts in our mind that that person is so defiled and so dirty and so sinful and maybe they feel like that themselves but making them also feel like that that's that's hindering them from experiencing what the religion of islam says in the first place and also for somebody who is feeling like they're defiled and an ultimate sinner that has no hope in life islam says actually no regardless of what has happened you can turn your life around turn your heart around and you can come back to the religion you can come back to god and yes there's going to be stuff to deal with of course if you do bad things there's consequences for sure but in the sense of the the spiritual and the religious aspect of things you know god will accept a person regardless of what they did or the type of life that they had in the past so yeah very very inspiring message uh, i think it really speaks to the core of really what islam is all about and uh, just really hope that more and more people start to see that, you know, and less division, less fighting, less miserableness being spread in the world, more love and peace, just like this video was talking about. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me in this one. Leave a like before you get on out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.